Nowhere is the Trump takeover of the Republican Party as aggressive as it is in Arizona. There's the GOP candidate for Secretary of State. He's taken the oath of the militant group, the Oath Keepers, and he was there on the Capitol grounds on January 6th. If there's violence, it'll be at the hands of Antifa. He says he's never met anybody who voted for Joe Biden, and now he's running to oversee Arizona's elections. There's the election-denying candidate for attorney general and the Trump-backed Senate candidate, Blake Masters. And at the very top of the ticket, there's the new MAGA star, Carrie Lake. We want to replace the woke garbage with common sense. A longtime Arizona TV news anchor, she's wowed the Trump forces by attacking vaccines, insisting Trump won the election, and hitting the news media every bit as hard as she hits Democrats. Do you have a minute to chat? Um, I'll do an interview. Okay. As long as it airs on CNN Plus. Does that still exist? I didn't think so, because the people don't like what you guys are peddling, which is propaganda. Thank you. Lake's campaign lives for moments like that, all captured on camera by her husband. He and his camera are always there, including when we met in Phoenix. And is Jeff here? My husband? Yeah. He's right there in the cowboy hat. Oh, can I say hi for him? Yes, of course. For Lake and others, repeating Trump's lies about the 2020 election is a defining issue. And I know for a fact we will no longer accept rigged elections. Who's with me on that? But while Trump acolytes swept through the primaries here this year, there is an old guard of conservative Republicans trying to fight back. The party leadership is a cabal right now. A cabal of what? A cabal of like-minded thugs. I mean, I, the, their whole methodology seems to be, as I'm talking about the party leadership, we're going to beat you into submission. <laughs> it's our way or walk the plank. Republican Speaker of the House Rusty Bowers testified before the January 6th committee this summer, telling the dramatic story about how he refused the demands of Donald Trump to overturn Joe Biden's victory in Arizona. I didn't want to be used as a pawn. That earned him death threats and a decisive defeat in the Republican primary. Bowers leaves office in January, but the Republican leadership of Arizona's largest county is still here and determined to push back against the election deniers in their party. You're a Republican. I am. Lifelong Republican. Yes. Bill Gates is the chairman of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. Why have Republicans questioned the integrity of the elections that are overseen by your office? It hurts my heart to say why they've done it. They've done it because they think it is good politics. If you don't believe in this perspective that 2020 was stolen, then you're not a good Republican. You're a rhino. We've never seen that before. And that is what's dangerous to our party, but more importantly, to this Democratic Republic. Stephen Richer is another lifelong Republican. He's the guy actually running the election here. This is where every single ballot is counted, except for those that are cast in person on election day. Those are fed directly by the voter into a mini tabulator. And keep in mind, most people in Arizona vote by mail. What percentage of Arizona voters vote early? In the August primary, about 85 percent. And how about in 2020? In 2020, 91 percent. He points out that none of the computers used to count the votes are connected to the Internet. They cannot be hacked. Even if everything was hacked, yeah. even if, even though this has no connection to the internet, even if every electronic file was deleted, it would still be revealed in a post-election Because you have assessment. the paper ballots, because you can count because the paper Because we ballots. have 100% paper ballots. We have a paper ballot for every single vote cast. So even if we had electronic Armageddon here, we would still be able to go back to those and we would be able to determine if the tabulators read the ballots correctly. And there are multiple steps along the way to ensure that only registered voters can vote and nobody can vote more than once. Still, Richer is bombarded every day with lies from his own party's leadership. There's a whole culture, there's a whole industry of people in leadership positions who are now motivated, incentivized to propagate this falsehood. He too has faced death threats, lots of them. And he's seen rank and file election workers taunted and intimidated. Are you worried about those threats? Are we people threatening your life? Uh, I don't love it by any stretch of the imagination. More importantly is the team here and the continued success of these operations, the continued viability of these operations. Repeating the lies is how the people now dominating the Republican Party here earned Donald Trump's endorsement. 
although Blake Masters, the Trump-backed Senate candidate running against Democrat Mark Kelly, has now reversed course. He no longer says Joe Biden stole the election. He's duly sworn and certified. He's the legitimate president. He's in the White House, and unfortunately for all of us. Even Kerry Lake is talking less about 2020 now, insisting it's a, quote, media obsession. But election lies have propelled Lake to stardom among the Trump diehards, leading to growing talk that she could be Trump's running mate in 2024. My, my question is, if you're elected, will you commit to serving all four years? as governor. I'm going to serve eight years as governor of Arizona. But I'm asking, is that a commitment that you will, yeah, you will finish your term? Listen, so even let, if Donald let, Trump comes to you and says, I want you to be my running mate, <laughs> you will say no because I've made a commitment. I, have, I just have to laugh at this question. First of all, that well, I'm, I mean, not, I'm, not, I'm not asking because I think you should be his running mate. It's just that this was something written in National Review. And one of your top supporters, like, I won't say who, told me just a couple of days ago, she's the running mate if Trump, if Trump runs. So I, my okay. question was just a simple one. Okay, you I just, I'm, I'm hearing this a lot on the campaign trail. Yeah. And what I think is happening, Jonathan, yeah. is the media is trying to scare the public that I'm going to leave. I am devoted and dedicated to saving Arizona. All four years. To turning it around. And I like to say, I'm the, the fake news is worst nightmare. I'm going to be their worst nightmare in Arizona for eight years. I'm going to have two terms as governor. If she were to step down to be Donald Trump's running mate, under Arizona law, it's the Secretary of State who would become governor. And if Republicans prevail here, that would be Mark Fincham, the guy who was at the Capitol on January 6th. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.